Father, what's wrong? Father, that is in it, Leah. Open the door. Leah. Father, we heard shots in the study. Was your stepfather in there? Yes, he's in there and the door's locked. From the inside. Come, there's another way in. Carolina, call the police. Yes, ma'am. Mother. Francis Hotel, please. Okay, you got a passenger. What reason he in? Me? Hmm? Francis Hotel. Oh, back with the man. <laughs> Excuse. You are Birmingham Brown? Hmm? Hmm? Uh-oh. Mr. Chair. Look where you're going. See that? Every time I meet a chair, I meet trouble. Not glad to see me, Birmingham? Oh, it's nothing personal, Mr. Chan. But the last time we met was in Washington. And if I can remember right, that was two or three murders. Murder's my business. Murder's all right, Mr. Chan, but you own still, sir. How do you do? I'd like to see Mr. Charlie Chen. Oh, I'm so sorry. He isn't in. Oh. Do you know when he will be? I haven't any idea. I simply must see Mr. Chen. Huh? Oh, Mr. Chen. You wish to see me? Well, yes, I did. Shall we sit down? Number three, son Tommy arrived today. You wish to see him? One chance at a time is enough. No more murder for me. And you wish to see me about, uh... Well, I was going to ask you to help me. Helping people is the chance specialty. What's your trouble? It's about a murder. Murder? Why, that's our special specialty. Was expecting to meet Sun here. He has arrived? Oh, but definitely, Mr. Chan. Definitely. The police couldn't solve it. Hmm. So what? It'll be duck soup for a Chan. And... Why are you here? Pop, I got a case that will knock your hat off. Can remove hat without assistance, thank you. Uh, excuse. Wish to speak with you in private. Not with me, Pop. With Miss Manning. Miss Manning, this is Puff. I mean, Mr. Charlie Chan, Miss Manning. Oh, you're the Mr. Chan I came to see. Uh, most flattered. Mr. Chan, I want you to investigate my stepfather's death. Oh, really, sorry. Have no time for private cases. Oh, but your son promised to help me. Oh. He promised. Then perhaps we better speak in privacy of my rooms upstairs. Chan family always keep promises. You see that lady with Charlie Chan? Yes, sir, I do. You know, she looks familiar to me for some reason. Well, she should. Why? Pictures of her and her mother were all over the front pages a few months ago. Yeah? Yeah. You remember that Manning murder? That's Leah Manning. Of course, of course. Oh, I sure. Well, come on, get going. Stop dallying, will you? Stop dallying. You're not talking. Listen, Leah Manning is talking with Charlie Chan. Yeah, the big shot detective here at the Francis Hotel. Okay. Yeah, I'll tail him and call you back later. 
this Mr. Chen is number three son, Tommy, who should be at University of California, but who for some strange reason now out on parole. For good behavior. Please be seated. Thank you. Now, yeah. what can I do for you? Mr. Chan, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for a book. The most horrible murder mystery ever written. Any detective will tell you all mystery novels most horrible. I know, but this one's different. It tells of the murder of my stepfather, but it accuses my mother of the crime. What a case, Pop. Her stepfather was killed in a locked room in his own house. No weapon was ever found, and the police never solved the mystery. Most interesting. Who handled case? Harvey Dennis. That is, a Detective Lieutenant Harvey Dennis. He was in charge of investigation. Presume he is son of once famous Captain Harvey Dennis of San Francisco Police? Yes, that's right. Oh, I knew his father well. When this occurred? Last October. By January, we'd nearly forgotten all about it. And then two weeks ago, this horrible book came out. It's supposed to be fiction, Mr. Chan, but it describes our home and everyone in it. It flatly states that no one but my mother could have committed the murder. Authors sometimes take strange liberties. What is name of unkind book? Murder by the Dam. It's written by Dr. Paul Recknick. Somewhat noted criminologist. Yes, that's what makes it worse. People are going to believe the book, and it's all a lie. The book even accuses Harvey of trying to cover up the truth because he fell in love with me. Did he fall in love with you? Well, I, I think we both did. Well... I just finished government business here. I must leave for Cleveland 48 hours from midnight tonight. Not much time to solve a mystery the police couldn't solve in six months. Oh, Mr. Chan, would you use what time you have? We'll do humble best, Miss Manning. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Chan. We'll first read Strange Book by Dr. Recknick, and we'll call upon you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, why are you here? Gosh, Pop, you don't seem glad to see me. Why are you here? Uh, I guess I'd better unpack. I got a present for you, Pop. A jigsaw puzzle, you never work out. Your allowance been paid for next three months. No loans, no dough. That's okay, Pop. This is on the house. We'll put puzzle together when I have first spare five minutes. That's what you think. Now, question still remain. Why are you here? Everything's okay, Pop. Why are you playing hooky from expensive college education? Well, I thought you'd be glad to see me. And besides, didn't I get you a swell case? Every time you appear, I have swell case of assorted troubles. Then tell me, what did you do when you recognized Chan? I got rid of him in a hurry. Brushed him off? Just like that. Uh-huh. Then, uh, how come your meter's still running? Oh, my meter went up that. Hmm? Good crazy left, but I pay in fair. Murders or no murders, I'm going to collect my money before I bumped into bankruptcy. <laughs> Must first locate strange novel, Murder by Madame. You're lucky to have your assistant on hand, Pop. Assistant? That you? Sure. Your assistant's about as welcome as water in a leaking ship. But you've always said that two men could find a clue quicker than one. Where is other man? Do not see other man. Other man should be back in school where he belongs. This is the third bookstore we've visited. What a funny way to solve a mystery. You talk like Rooster, who thinks son come up just to hear him crow. Yes? You have a passenger here? Mm -mm, I come to collect from one. What's the name, please? Uh, Mr. Charlie Chan. Yeah, I'm sorry, he's not in. Mm, well, if he ain't in, that means that I'm out. Of almost $5. Yeah. Thank you. I'll wait. Uh, uh, miss, we'll take this book. That'll be $2. Shall I wrap it? No, thank you. Thank you. There's a gentleman outside that wants to see you. Well, that must be Mr. Chan. Uh, thank you very much. You're entirely welcome. Do call again. Ready?
Birmingham Brown, huh? Yes, sir, that's me. Oh, Birmingham, get this hack out of here in a hurry. And here's a little souvenir for you. Yes. Hmm. I forgot to thank the gentleman. Give it to me. Hello? Uh, are you calling back so soon? Oh, he is, huh? Okay, you stay right on, Chan. And if he gets too nosy, let us know. Chan. Charlie Chan? Yeah. So what? You weren't kidding, Cat, huh? That Charlie Chan's really on the term. Yeah, but he's nothing to worry about. Chan's no flatfoot. He's the kind you gotta worry about. Forget it, Carl. Chan's being trailed wherever he goes. Yeah, just trailing him isn't gonna help us. Yes, it will. We'll be way ahead of him and ready to stop him if he gets too close. Carl, where's your twin brother going to? I don't know. I don't trust him. <laughs> Neither do I. Come in. Uh, Mr. Chan, friendship is friendship, but you forgot... Oh, Mr. Chan, don't look at me like that. You give me the cold feet all over. Birmingham Brown, how are you? I'm minus of a taxi cab fare of $4.90. Birmingham, you live in such very great rush. Excuse, please, Birmingham. Uh, telephone. Hello? Charlie Chan speaking. Uh, you mean Manning murder? Is your dad investigating another murder? Uh-huh. You have information regarding same? If you want to solve the Manning case, come to see me right away. See you where, please? Oh, what name? I'll be there shortly. Thank you very much, Mr. Carzos. We'll need taxi cab again, Birmingham. Solution of murder near at hand. Murder, he says. This cop is six months old, Birmingham. Oh, I ain't afraid of no six months old cop. Who said that? <clears throat> Free speech is gonna get me in trouble yet.
I can handle it. There's a thousand other places I'd rather be in than here. What are we here for, Pop? I'm here for information concerning Manning murder. Looks like very poor information bureau. Man was supposed to meet me here. Oh. It's okay, Pop. He's still waiting. But he's dead. Strangled. Short time ago. since the Manning case. Just an ordinary member of the Homicide Squad. I knew your father very well. Worked with him years ago. You resemble him greatly. Harvey Dennis, he's a detective Miss Manning told us about. Have a chair. Bottleneck of progress is number three son, Tommy. Star Telephone headquarters that you were about to reopen a case, Mr. Chan. It's no use. We worked on it for six months and got nowhere. Perhaps I worked a little while and get somewhere. Excuse, would like to ask a question. Why you come here now? To tell you the truth, Mr. Chan, I've been trailing you ever since I heard you were going to reopen this case. As a matter of fact, I want to work on it with you. Glad to have you with us, Mr. Dennis. Wish could say same for you. I've already learned something. Came here for information regarding Manning murder, and I find this. Kazas, what's happened? What's he got to do with the Manning case? You know that man? Sure. He specializes in stolen goods, particularly gems. Mm -mm. I done run out of whistles. Anyway, I can get some music. <laughs> Turn out your lights. Turn them out. <laughs> Are you afraid? <laughs> Are you kidding? Wonder why dead man keeps so much bread. Stale, hard as a rock. Stale, hard, and very heavy. Bread very strangely cut. Mm. Mr. Chan, here's another one. You know, maybe that chain ain't such bad come to after all. I don't know, this, sir. Wrap all three for evidence. Yes, sir. What's keeping you all so long? It's all over. Look, they're behind the table. Oh, oh. Behind the table? I wonder what this is talking about. Mm -hmm. Murder? Yep. I knew it. Me the chair, and you knew the murder. Maybe I was wrong after all. Waiting for someone? Yes, sir. And matter of fact, that I've been. How come you walking around? Don't you know you're dead? Ah! The dead man. He's outside, but he ain't dead. Dead man still here, still dead. Still dead. Still here, still dead. I got corpses in front of my eyes. Like the police, you don't believe my book. You're wrong. 
Think you can dig up another suspect? <laughs> you can. If your book solved Manning case, why Mrs. Manning not under arrest? Not enough technical evidence. Dennis here was in charge of the case. He took out time to fall in love with the daughter of the house, and so he didn't uh, find all the evidence. You pull that too often, Rednick. If you do it once more, so help please, me. Please, please. Bull in China shop is gentle creature compared to detective who make pass at man wearing glasses. Why you think Mrs. Manning commit crime? Nobody else could have done. In your book, you explain everything so easily, except what become of murder gun. I've always had my own ideas on what happened to that gun. Yes, you've had your ideas, and you've talked about them too. But now get this, and for the last time, I never found that gun. Uh -huh. Now wait, I fell in love. Sure, I'm still that way. But I'm still a detective too. I searched that house from top to bottom. There was no 38 in it. If my book is wrong, then the Manning case cannot be solved. It defies solution. That's what you think. When Pop takes a case, Pop goes a case. What? Peculiar trait in Chan family. Children all think Pop pretty good. I'm speaking as an expert criminology. Expert is merely a man who makes quick decisions and is sometimes right. I'll bet you ten to one I'm right on the Manning case, and you're wrong. Ten to one? Excuse, please, while I check Chan family finances. Take them, Pop. Mom said everyone in the Chan family is working, and now we have more money than brains. I'm not gambling, man, but ten to one not to be sneered at. If I am wrong, I will write check for $2,000 to Chinese war relief. But... If I am right... If you're right, I'll send the same organization a check for $20,000. Uh, Recknick, I'm a witness to this. Oh, uh, you uh, hear about a man named Kazos murdered last night? Yes, I read about it this morning. Strangled. Murderer wore gloves. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> When the police said that the throat bruises were no use as evidence, figured he wore a tight-fitting glove, uh, like that. You always wear glove? Ever since I burnt my hand badly some years ago. May interest you to know murderer of Thomas Manning also wore gloves. Thank you so much. Hello, Leah. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Chen. Happy to see you again, Miss Manning. Thank you. This is the study where it happened. I think I do a little investigating of my own. Dr. Rechnick's book, surprisingly accurate in describing scene of crime. Too accurate to be pleasant, Mr. Chan. Doctor, a visit in this room here? Once. He came here the day after the killing with the inspector. We had access to the files and all the photographs. Hey, Pop, they're the same as... According to book, um, secret panel should be here. My gosh, Pop, are you a mind reader? If mine not too small. Mrs. Manning's room is just above us, at the head of the stairs. Police find nothing here? Only the prints of Mrs. Manning, Lee and Carolyn, on the handrails. Harvey. Harvey, that's her mother's room. I won't have... 
have it, you understand? I was your husband's partner, and the mystery of his death nearly ruined my business. I want no one, Chinese detective or otherwise, reopening that case. Please, Mr. Deacon, let the chair alone. No. What's the matter, Mother? Did you bring Ken into this case? I did. I won't have it. I want the case dropped completely. Why? Excuse, please. I am Charlie Chan at your service. You wish investigation halted? She does. You will do as Leah wishes, if you please, Mr. Chan. Thank you so much. Now you will explain why you wish Manning case dropped? Excuse. Wait, please. You will explain why you wish the mystery of Thomas Manning's death to remain unsolved? I'm trying to keep my business from being ruined by more bad publicity. That is excellent diamond. Tough. I don't get it, Pop. Fear you are a weak limb to which no family tree may point with pride. those little statues. They're the same as those we found at Kazo's place. You are smart enough to keep eyes open? You bet. Do likewise. Keep mouth shut. Uh, nothing changed in study since night of murder? Nothing, Mr. Chen. When the police finished in there, we kept the study locked. In his book, Dr. Rechnick claims your mother's second marriage was unhappy one. He married my mother for Money. If she'd been happy, it would have made no difference, but when he died, I was almost glad. I tell you, Pop, I wouldn't trust that Rechnick as far as I can see a mic. You put two and two together and get results bigger than national debt. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? Because I hear two meters ticking. It must be inflation. Two meters? I don't hear anything. Turn it that alley, quick. Yes, sir. Quick, get out. Think the army would at least loan me a tank? Come. Hey, you want to rent your bike to three passengers? What? Yeah, you see, Tommy, he can sit here, and I'll pedal, and Mr. Chan. No. Thank you, just the same. To see you is always very great pleasure, most honorable Wu Sung. But must confess, at this moment, I'm on hurried business visit. I hope you did not pay too much for my wretched work. Your work always most distinctive. 
I recognize it at once. That is why I am here. Your work, most honorable Wu Sung, always noted for great artistry, but also for secret compartments. Of course, of course. If art is useful, it is worth more. Look. Glass. There's been a mistake somewhere. Most valuable mistake. This is diamond. Look, here's another one. These must be stolen property. Believe part of famous Kulinar collection stolen a year ago in Chicago. Look, Pop, here's some more just like them. And here's one of a cat. Cat? Uh, one moment, excuse please. Uh, this also have secret compartment? Yes. But how did this cat ever get over to the Manning's house? This cat never left this room, but one like it was sold. Excuse. Uh, you have record of those who purchased statues? Of course. All of them were sold to C. Thai Art Company, a small firm with headquarters at Shore and Pier. Fleet Pier now closed for duration of war. Many thanks for very great assistance. Hey, why are we going anyway? To Shore and Pier, to investigate an important case. Mm. Just you and me? That's right. You can be my assistant. Now you cooking with gas. What kind of case is it? It ain't no murder case, I hope. Well, murder is just a sideline in this case. Oh, well, if that's all it is, I ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Boy, you is crazy. So am I. Police deduced nothing from lone figure of Bishop left on chessboard? Nothing. Bishop. Bishop. Well, this is it. Sea Tide Art Company. Well, it's closed, thank goodness. You can't get in there. This thing locked, see? Now you're going through holes. Did we come all the way out here just to see this? Well, I guess we won't find any clues here. Mm. This investigation was short and snappy. Mm. Uh, glad to see you again. Where am I saying? <laughs> What's the matter? The dead man, he's on the loose again. Oh, you're silly. Don't tell me. Go ahead and look for yourself. Go ahead, don't stop here. Hey, Birmingham, you're right. He ain't dead. But you should be. You're right, Birmingham. Now, nah, he's a ghost. Do you believe me now? Do you believe me now where he is at? We shouldn't be. Motion seconded. It's gone. Maybe we didn't see him after all. thing to do is to scram out of here. Boy, you is reading my mind. I'll drive you in, sir. You seem worried about something. We are, Mr. Chan. We know that you have to leave by midnight tomorrow. If you leave without solving the case, what do we do then? 
You get married. Mr. Chan, with the threat of gossip hanging over us, we couldn't possibly do that. Fear of future is wrong for young people in love. You should get married and raise large family. Once you have large family, all other troubles mean nothing. Hey, that's a swell idea. What? Well, isn't it? Harvey, oh, darling. Swell idea about getting married seems to be unanimous. Mr. Deacon. Well, what do you want? Still wearing valuable diamonds. I'm busy. What do you want? Excuse, please. You are preparing to leave? Now, look, if you're here about Manning's murder, I know nothing about it. I'm here to inquire about Sea Tide Art Company, which you own. No. Oh. Oh, that's wrong. Excuse. I've checked ownership. I did own it once, but... Uh... Wait, I'll get the books and I'll prove to you that I'm no longer connected with it. Thank you so much. Empty. Suspect that room also empty now. Blew the poop, Pop. Quick. Mr. Webster Deacon, he will tell us things which will clear up Manning case. Yes, sir. That's the car we've been followed, all right, Mr. Chan. Good. This is where we were this afternoon, Pop. Yes, sir. In Met the Dead Man. I guess we left the door open. Uh, we'll take second look. Very empty. Well, you see, Pop, there's nothing here. Birmingham. Sir. This your dead man? It's Mr. Deacon. I'm afraid Mr. Deacon will never help us solve any crimes. Huh? Been strong enough for four men. I think I'm gonna try it out. Now look at here. You having fun blowing out my matches? Blowing out matches? I didn't blow any out. No. 
Huh. There's no breeze in here. Now, look here, Tommy. Fun is fun. I ain't got but a few more matches left. You stop blowing them out. But what a cigar. Sure is strong. It knocked him out before I even lit it. What happened? I don't know, sir. Unless he lost his strength blowing out my matches. Matches? Tommy blow him out? He said he didn't. But you went out. Like one now? Yes, sir. But you see, I was striking the match just like this. And I was standing right here and I held it down. Mm. I feel like a merry-go-round. Quick, open windows. Yes, sir. Stuck in luck. What is that? Oxazone, very deadly gas. Just looking for your room. I forgot the number on my way up. You come up in elevator? No, no, I walked. <laughs> Never trust elevators. What's going on here? Hmm. Oxazone. Bad stuff to fool around with, Chan. Person who used this not fooling. How are you feeling? My head seems to be spinning. Mm. Then you're all right. Everything back to normal. We've been gassed with poison gas. You wish to speak with me? I was just wondering uh, how you're coming along in your attempt to solve this case. Also wonder the same thing. Stuck already, huh? Never start anything unless I see end of road. How are you coming along to date? did not say which end of road I could see. You're stuck already and you won't admit it. When you give up completely, let me know. Mm -hmm. He sure did leave with the breeze, didn't he, Mr. Chan? What's the matter, Pop? Three murders, all different. A dog cannot chase three rabbits at the same time. Man in case like modern highway, sooner or later come to detour. Detour. Detour at end. Correct pieces of puzzle, please. Well, I've had you for a while. Next time you try this, you experience sudden collision in rear end of pants. But you help solve man in case. Mm -hmm. Huh? Man in case like puzzle. Wrong pieces appear. Real puzzle concerned Mr. Manning. Kazas and Deacon represent wrong pieces, the detour. I don't get it. I mean, up there too. Only midnight tonight to solve three murders. Three murders, he said. Have you lost your nerve, Birmingham? Since I've seen that ghost, I ain't got no nerve to lose. Uh, so sorry for this intrusion, Mrs. Manning. But believe statue of cat once reposed on this desk. Uh, yes, there was such a statue, Mr. Chan. 
It belonged to my... to Mr. Manning. I had it removed after his death. Where is that you now? That's what those two men asked me. What two men? I don't know. I never saw them before. They were here 20 minutes ago, asking about that cat thing. They see cat statue? No, sir. I never let them inside the door. Must see statue at once, Mrs. Manning. It's in the closet of the rear hall. I'll get it for you, Mr. Chan. What are you doing tonight, Caroline? Oh, nothing. What are you doing? I'm going to be busy till midnight chasing murders. Chasing murders? Crazy, ain't it? You know how to work statue, Mrs. Manning? I don't understand. We'll demonstrate. This is famous Kalinor diamond, stolen a year ago. No wonder other men seek to find cat statue. Case almost finished. Know now who killed your husband, Mrs. Manning. What's the idea? You quit trailing Chan? He went to Manning's place. He got the statue of the cat. How do you know? Well, I saw him look at the diamond when he got in his car. He took it to the police? No, he's got it with him. When I saw where he was going, I cut ahead of him. He sent it for here, Kent. Well, well. Let's invite him in. That's where the dead man went, Pop. Uh, we go that way, too. You remain by car. Yes, sir, but gladly. Please, stop bumping me. Golly, it's dark in here, Pop. Shh, quiet. Quiet. This is a swell place to meet a ghost. More dead men. See one with no head? Uh-huh. He remind me of you. I guess we turn back here. Or diamond for which Mr. Manning was killed. Too bad you cannot find valuable gem. So sorry, but whereabouts of diamond must remain military secret. Don't make a false move. Paul, what are you doing in there? Like puppy who come to smell subway third rail, you will receive complete information in a few moments. Behind you. Get in. Get in. Now, Chan, where's the diamond? Don't give it to him, Pop. Oh, so you had it when you came in, huh? Come on, where is it? Must refuse to answer. Where's that diamond? You talk or I'll rip the skin right off your face. 
touch me again, I not even open my lips. Out of boy, Pop. They can't make a chan talk. You'll talk now, Chan, and in a hurry when you see what happens to your boy. <laughs> How do you like that? Don't tell him anything, Pop. You see, third degree does not work. You haven't seen anything yet. Ah, that way. Easy, do the trick. Tasted like rat. Fun house. Sure ain't no fun on the outside. So I guess I'll see what it's like on the inside. I wonder what's keeping Chad. He said he'd be here by 9 o'clock. He told Carolina he was going to the fun house on Shore End Pier. Now, that's what puzzles me. I wonder why he wants to go there. Sure, I don't know. Now that I'm in here, I don't know where I'm going or where I've been. Now that you lost, what you gonna do? You know why I come in this place, and uh... Mm -hmm. uh, get above them skeletons. Now I've seen everything. This is just like walking around into the middle of a nightmare. You can't make a tan talk. That won't work. We'll try something else. Get out with Diamond, Birmingham, quick. What? Hmm? Oh, Southeast, he's got the diamond. Get his eye, lock the exit. Quick, coming. Untie hands. Hey. Thank you for letting me share your private graveyard. I can't make it, Pop. Here. Come. Get on the desk. Put your hand on my shoulder. Get way under. Draw in feet. Maybe you'll be safe till the head clears. Stay there. Of him. <laughs> I distinctly heard something. Oh! Good gracious, what kind of place is this? Untie hands, quick. Yes, sir. Hello, children. Carolina tells me you're waiting for Mr. Chan. He was supposed to be back here by 9 o'clock, Mother. It's 9.30 now. A Birmingham, a Mr. Chan's chauffeur said they were going to chase murderers. Murderers? That settles it. I'm going down there. I'll go with you, Harvey. Kid are gone. Did you see Chan and the kid? Not a sign of it. Well, they can't get out. Find them. I'll watch the indicator and yell which maze they're in. Oh, yeah? Look at that. Can't grab them, we'll get rid of them. 
I got a friend who lives in here, Mr. Chan. Where's this, buddy? Birmingham. Look out for that first step, Mr. Chan. It's a dinner. as if going out. Quick. Yes, sir. Hey, you, come back here. Miss Chan, somebody's coming this way. Surprise party continue. Same treatment. Yes, sir. One moment, Mr. Chan. Jim, I'll ruin your flashlight. Even trade. His light out, too. Mr. Chan, I'll kill the ghost. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you, Mr. Chan. Uh, was just going to find you. Give me that gun. You ain't going anywhere anymore. Oh, you found him, eh? Yeah. The cops are all over the place. Surprise party continue. You two will be dead when they get here. I've heard same before. But Charlie Chan's still alive and kicking. Hold it, you. Stop that moving. I ain't moving, mister. That's just goose people galloping all over me. Come on, the cops are coming. Let them come. I'll get them, too. But Chan's turn comes first. Hey! Get guns. Have me beat up, will you? Over here. All of you. Come on. You too. You too. All right. What goes on here, Mr. Chan? Your arrival saved me call for very necessary police. Have solved three murders with excellent aid of very fine assistance. Snap them on. What am I doing with these things? What about Karzos? Were there two of them? This one, Kyle Karzos, twin brother of murdered Kurt Karzos. Gannett, Kathleen, can arrest all for grand larceny and murder. You can't prove that. Most easily. But you spoke of three murders. Murder of Kurt Karzos, Webster Deacon, and Thomas Manning. All work of these people. I've found final proof. When you first attacked me, I hide diamond. Excuse. In your pocket. I also find murder gloves, worn by Strangler and killer of Thomas Manning. They're not mine. They belong to Deacon. Exactly. But you wore them to strangle Deacon. Take them away. All right, boys. Come on. Mr. Chan, you said those men killed my stepfather. Thomas Manning and his business partner, Webster Deacon, were connected with original theft of Kalinor Diamond. And Manning was a crook. But he double-crossed his business partner and steal Diamond for himself. Oh, then that was the motive for the murder. Mr. Chan, how did you find all these things out? Well, that's what I'd like to know. 
Well, you see, Lieutenant... Uh, not Lieutenant, uh, remember, Mr. Chan? Uh, but you be Lieutenant again, maybe. Perhaps Captain for solving celebrated Manning case. I had nothing to do. Uh, this is how you did it. Observe. This is gun that killed Thomas Manning. I take it tonight from Catherine. But initials on gun are W.D. Webster Deacon. Why, that means Deacon killed Manning. And Manning leave on chessboard clue to police who killed him. What? Lone figure of Bishop. Oh, but there was no one by the name of... Leah. Of course. That lone figure, that lone chess man, was a bishop. Don't you see? In other words, a church officer. And Deacon is same thing. Deacon wearing gloves, lock study door, and killed Thomas Manning. He then hide in secret stairway. When you, your mother, and Carolina enter room, Deacon ascend secret stairway to your mother's bedroom and out front door. Later, he killed Carzos because us Carzos about ready to inform. Yes, but uh, why was Deacon himself murdered? Because Deacon, now thoroughly frightened, was leading me here to real criminals. So, Dr. Rechnick was wrong. When you see him, you will please say he must write new book in big hurry. Also, must send check for $20,000 to Chinese war relief in same big hurry. Oh, Mr. Chan, how can Mother and I ever thank you for Oh, you not necessary. I suggest you hasten to your mother and explain final outcome of case. Goodbye. Where is that exit? Wherever there's a way in, it must be a way out. Gosh, Pop, in spite of his book, Rettling was not the killer at all, huh? You are like turtle. After everything all over, you stick head out and find truth right under your very nose. Oh, this must be it. Uh-oh, my pillow boy again. I quit. There just ain't no way out of here. Hey, Birmingham. Oh, yeah, I am. All ready to go, Birmingham. Oh, Mr. Chen, you ain't half as red as I am. I've been running so much till I feel as pale as a ghost. But so long, Colonel. I'm glad to meet you. Thank you. And if you believe that, you is crazy. Mission time. Time that stretch you've been wanting. And best of all, time to take your pick from that scrumptious array of tasty treats waiting for you at the snack bar, where the popcorn's popping, the cold drinks are sparkling, the hot dogs are playing. The coffee is steaming. And a luscious treasure of confectionery delights with ice cream and candy, and so much more to tempt any taste, is waiting for you now at the snack bar. You'll be notified in plenty of time when the next show is about to begin.
Mr. Bonner's inner self is nearing the other world. Tonight, we will try to contact the spirit of Mrs. Edwards. so long. I'm going to expect you for hours. I had to finish my old job first. You know, Mr. Johnson, I sure appreciate you letting me have your job here. The appreciation is all mine, Mr. Brown. Uh, Mr. Johnson, you said something about some seances was here. What is them? You don't know what a seance? No, what is this? All men and women just sit around the table in the dark and hold hands. Does that make them happy, hold hands? Sort of raises their spirits some. Oh, yeah? Oh. Oh. What was that? Oh, oh, oh just someone moaning. Moaning? More than about the income tax, I mean. Good night, Mr. Brown. Uh, good night, Mr. Johnson. I won't need this now. How to disappear. Uh, Mr. Johnson, does this book really tell you how to disappear? Guaranteed it'll make you go from where you is so you ain't where you was in a flash. Can you do it? I'm about to vanish right now. All I have to do is say the magic word and snap my finger like this. Abacadabra, I'm gone. Oh, anybody could do this. So we in a flash he went. We are fortunate tonight. A spirit is about to join us. You, Gert? Gertrude? My husband. Is that you, Mr. Edwards? That's her. My wife. She always called me Mr. Edwards. But you're dead, aren't you? I've been buried, but I'm not dead. Oh. Abacadabra. Still here, but not for long. Those with prepared questions will nod their heads. Miss Green? Mr. Hamlin? Miss Wood? Mr. Edwards? Now for the questions while Mr. Bonner is still in contact with the spirit world. What happened in London the night of October 5th, 1935? What was the question? What happened in London the night of October 5th, 1935? What happened in London the night of October 5th, 1935? Who asked that question? Answer me. Who spoke then? Who asked that question if you don't... <laughs> Jim Hollings in his trance. He won't come out of this trance. He's dead. Dead? I thought only spirits were dead around here. Mr. Bonner has been shot. Shot? He's been murdered. Murdered? Certainly looks like it. Murder? I, I simply won't have it. Oh, murder. Oh, dear. 
Bono murdered. What do we do, Tom? Keep your corpuscles cool, Vera. First we get dressed. And then skip town? And leave all our equipment here and up in that seance room. Not much. I wonder who killed him. Would you like me to bring back his ghost and ask him? Get dressed. Operator. Operator, get me the police. Matthew's talking. Yeah. Yeah? Where? 349 Dexter Street. On my way. Get Smith and McCarthy. Homicide. Homicide. Homicide? Well, why didn't you say so? Well, we all searched each other. There was no gun. Thank you very much, ladies. In there, please. My dear sir, my lecture tour cannot be disrupted. Listen, I do all the lecture in here until this case is finished. Abacadabra. 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 Oh, you ain't no spook. What do you mean? Oh, mister, this place is creeping with ghosts. Why, well, I just seen a dead woman floating around right in there. Uh oh, there she is, still floating. What are you talking about? That's the murdered man. Have you got a gun? A witch? <laughs> Stop a particular, Smith. Have you found that gun yet? There's no gun in here, sir. Well, keep searching. Yes, sir. Ah, the thousands of unfortunate people who will be prevented from hearing my lecture. Cigar, Mr. Oh. Edwards? No, oh, thank you. Well, you're all going to headquarters. Everyone. I simply must have a lawyer. All right, folks, if you please. You go too, young lady. But I wanted to tell you... You can tell me everything at headquarters. Go along. Uh-oh. What is your pop going to say? I don't know, but I sure need pop. I need pop too. I mean your pop. Will you two stop popping and get going? You don't understand, Sergeant. I've been trying to tell you my pop is Charlie Chan. I don't care if your pop is... Huh? Charlie Chan? The detective? From Honolulu? Where is he staying? At the Chateau Hotel. Rafferty. Yes, Sarge? Get him. Tom? Are you Mr. Charlie Chan? Yes. Are you sure? Oh, these toys. They are toys for my numerous family in Hawaii. I'm sure my arrival of humble self in Honolulu will be noisy success. Speak with me. Uh, you're wanted at headquarters, Mr. Chan. We got a case of homicide and your daughter, Frances. My daughter involved in murder? Well, I don't know, Mr. Chan, but Sergeant Matthews thinks she is. Oh, suggest we travel quickly. Please, come. They tell the truth, Sergeant. Because I am leaving tomorrow for Hawaii, Birmingham got new job this afternoon. Got a new job this afternoon and quit tonight. When Birmingham told me that they held seances at his new place, naturally, I was interested. But you both got there in time to be in on a murder. Oh, it could happen to anyone. You stop nodding, Rafferty. Yeah. Huh? Sure? Okay. 
Smith says there's no gun to be found anywhere in the Bonner house. Yeah. What? Man, you're crazy. Yes, but... But... Oh, all right. Bonner was killed by a bullet that entered his heart, but didn't pass entirely through his body. But there was no gun found on anyone present. No gun was found in the house. And now the coroner calls and says that there's no bullet in the body. Now, how are you going to shoot a guy with a bullet without using a bullet? Spooks. Spooks. Perhaps uh, invisible bullet. Invisible bullet. That's dying novel stuff. How about you helping us on this case, Jan? Oh, no. Uh, must refuse Grace's offer. I'm on brief vacation from government work. Well, that's that. You can go, Charlie. But of course, your daughter stays. Don't forget, she's involved in a murder. Oh, Pop, do I really have to stay here? Not for long. Okay, I take case. Good. This is a tough proposition, Charlie. Murder at a seance. Unexplainable things happen at seances. Yes. Uh, may I use other office for a few moments? Sure, sure. Thank you so much. Give me the coroner's office. Peters? Matthews. Say. Has anybody invented an invisible bullet yet? Oh, all right, all right. I didn't think so either. What are you going to know? Hmm? Brown, you've been involved in three murder cases already. It ain't my fault, mister. It's the laws. Always somebody taking me down the hall. Then something goes clang. Then I'm in jail again. Uh, but by mistake. Mistake? Maybe the other cases were mistakes. But what about this Bonner murder? Commissioner, that was a strictly private murder to which I was not invited. Sergeant, you say many strange things happen at Seance. Without crystal ball, I can say you wear a size nine and a half shoe. You should wear 11, but you prefer big corns to big shoes. Also, you changed your barber last week. Old barber cut your hair too short. Also, no, you think law too lenient in criminal cases today, especially district attorney's office. You wish me to continue, Sergeant? No. I mean, how do you know what I think? Very simple. I am psychic. Do you see what I see? Can even produce spirit wrappings. Do you hear what I hear? What that personal information about me? Oh, merely telephone your wife in next room. Oh, she talks too much. <laughs> you uh, question all suspects? Yes. Good. We'll examine their statements tomorrow. Birmingham, you must uh, go back to Bonner House. Oh, Mr. Chan, I'd rather stay in jail. No, I wish you for inside man for police. But what about them spooks? Oh, if spooks bother you, Sergeant will arrest them. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm just... Hmm? Evidence insufficient to arrest anyone, Sergeant. But would like interview with young lady who calls herself Nancy Wood. Calls herself Nancy Wood? Get me the Brockton Apartments. You mean that's not a real name? A Brockton Apartments? I want to speak with Miss Nancy Wood. Huh? Well, just a minute. There's no one there by that name. This is police department speaking. 
You have a young lady living there whose initials are N.D.? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you so much. M.D.? Initials of young lady's real name, Norma Duncan. How did you know that, when you didn't even see her? Initials on young lady's bag, right under your nose all the time. I saw them in Topaz. Mm. Beauty of Chan family also have brains. Very fine combination. Well, I have a very busy day ahead, so must be going. You remain here at hotel. Oh, Pop, you say I have brains that make me sit around and twiddle my thumb. Twiddling thumbs at hotel keep pretty nose out of trouble. Oh, Pop, you have to have one of your children along when you're on a case. I have 14 children. They all try to boss me. No. You still twiddle at hotel. Abacadabra. Abacadabra. Hello. Where's Mr. Chan? Busy on this case. And so am I. Who do you think killed Mr. Bonner? Spooks. Silly. They can't hurt anyone. No. Well, how come they're scaring me to death? There's nothing. Will you please explain why you gave us a false name? Justine Bonner and the others knew me as Nancy Wood. I was afraid to give my true name. Why, please? Because William Bonner had just been killed. And if anyone had a motive for killing him, I had. My father was Charles Duncan, civil engineer. He committed suicide a year ago. After Mother died, father started attending the Bonner seances. Quite understandable. At that time, Father was in sole charge of the financial figures for a tremendous project. Those figures turned up in the hands of a rival company. Dad's firm was nearly ruined. He... he felt disgraced. He shot himself. The Bonners got those figures from Dad. They caused his death. But why you attend seances? Well, I... I hope to learn enough to put them both in prison. You find anything? Well, my mind is made up. Young lady, you're going to... to return to your home, Miss Duncan, for the present and try to forget the past. Thank you. Charlie, that's not what I was going to say. I know, I know. Relax, relax. You know, I got gremlins galloping up and down my spine. We've got to look around. Yes? Are you both there? Yes, you want to see us? No. Stay where you are until I need you. That's all. We want to get away. Get away? Why? We're not mixed up in Bonner's murder. You'll stay. Both of you were in this room when Bonner was shot. We both scram if you feel that way. Yeah, in a hurry, too. No, I didn't mean it. I'm, I'm upset, worried. She's alone in there. Who's she talking to? More spooks? I may have to disappear. I'll need your help. How do you like that? She's really scared, Tom. Yeah. I wonder why. I've got to hide this gun. Hide it? Yeah. Why? Just in case she talks too much. You heard it. She's going to scrap with a couple of spooks. I've got to tell Pop. Me too. No, Pop wants you to stay here. Goodness. Abacadabra. Mm, I think you can pop my finger. Abacadabra. Mm. Come on, get a hold of yourself, man. A scrambled egg has got more spirit than you.
were you doing up there? I hit my gun. Now let her try and get me in trouble. Now I'm hearing things and there ain't nothing to hear. Oh, ain't nobody here. I've never heard of such. She's got enough trouble without your doing that. I just gotta make that way. Have a good effort. Oh, shut up. Yes, sir. Hmm? That did it. You are about to leave, Mr. Chen? I've been about to leave ever since I arrived here. Birmingham, you know Pop doesn't believe that. We heard Justine talking to spooks. That's the truth, Mr. Chen. And now the spooks is talking to me. You do not like being legal bloodhound? I just can't be one, Mr. Chen. I'm too anemic. I'm practically pale. That's me. Mrs. Bonner at home? No, sir. Good. We'll take a look around. You know, after being here, I've been having an elegant time in a cemetery, reading tombstones at midnight. Pop says spooks can't hurt you if you cross your fingers and your eyes. Cross your fingers and your eyes. Fingers and your eyes. Where do you get that at? Cross your fingers and your eyes. I'm going to try that. Cross your fingers and your eyes. I'm going to cross town. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cross your fingers and Remain here on watch. Why am I going so fast and ain't going nowhere? I'm going to be scared stiff when I get there. Suppose spirit of Mrs. Edwards first appear where? From that cabinet. You care for visit to spirit world? Step inside. experience with seance room cabinets. in Bonner Seances. All come from basement. Mr. Chan, better not stay in there too long. Mr. Chan, you... Mm. 
spooks about him. Also, most modern spooks. They converse with Mrs. Bonner by microphone. Speaking from here, I am Spook. You are? Hmm? Oh, Birmingham. We'll be right back. Mr. Chan, if you is dead, stay wherever you are. You two disappeared from inside and there. Did you say apple-cadabra or snap your fingers? No, merely use head. We are here uninvited guests. Keep watch for return of hostess. Here she comes. And here I go. Doug, Pop, she's back. being scared to death that I know of. Excellent deduction, Birmingham. There are spirits here. Hmm. What am I going to do? Abracadabra. 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 Spirits cannot kill. Mr. Bonner shot by someone at Seance table. No, no one could have. No? You, you need hands to shoot. And we were all holding each other's hands when Mr. Bonner was shot. That's the truth. No, it isn't. Justine's a fake. She had her hands free to work the lights. She could have used a gun. I will not have my husband and my profession insulted. Please, please. Shady business do not make for sunny life. I believe time for everyone to cool off. Anyone here know who owned this fan? Now let me see that fan. It's just like one of mine. Yours? Yes. You know, I make fans, trick fans, and magician supplies. Mm. You not make this one? Let me have a look at that. I don't see what this fan's got to do with it. <gasps> You recognize Fan, Mrs. Bonner? No, no. I find same underneath Seance table. And I'm stumped. For a moment, I'm in similar position. One murder, too many suspects. Too many people have motive. Mr. Hamlin have motive. Mr. Bonner tried to blackmail him. So I wasn't the only fool to be blackmailed. Miss Green. Mr. Bonner making love to Miss Green. Yes, and I fell for it and later got blackmailed. You, Mrs. Bonner, you threaten bodily harm to your husband if he not cease his attentions to Miss Green. That's not true. It is. I heard you. So did I. Your daughter was there. What about her? Beauty of Chan family, merely innocent bystander. So was I. Magic. Black magic kill William Bonner. Seems most strange that you, Mr. Edwards, are maker of magician's supplies. That will be all for a moment. Well, Mr. Chan. Yes? At the seance, someone asked a question about London. What happened on night of October 5th, 1935? Yes. Well, I was in London then. You know answer to strange question? No, but the voice that asked it seemed familiar somehow. There's a name connected with that voice right on the tip of my tongue, but I... 
I simply can't remember it. Most important clue. Try, please, remember as soon as possible. Say, Charlie, how did you figure this out? You forget I am psychic. Excuse, please. Go on, I dare you to laugh. What are you looking for, Mr. Chan? Searching for bullet that killed Bonner. All we can do now, Mr. Chan, is wait for reactions. Then we'll make the final test. Tomorrow? By tomorrow, we should know if your theory concerning a bullet which kills and then disappears is correct. Mm. Thank you so much, Mr. Dawson. It's been a pleasure working with you, sir. Oh, Pa. I just called the hotel and the clerk said Miss Duncan is waiting to see you. Okay. Seems we arrived too late, Miss Duncan already gone. But the clerk said it was important that she see you. Turn on lights. Is she dead, Pa? No. She's not asleep, is she? Impossible sleep in this. What's it all about, Pop? Seems we arrive in time after all. Miss Duncan's supposed to be dead when we get here. What happened? Get down. Elevators are way down on the lower floor. No one on fire escape, no. Hall door open to make us look that way. Pop, you mean to say the murder was in the bedroom all the time? Open door is all trick a magician who never lets you follow what he is doing. She's like someone in a trance. Miss Duncan, wake up. Wake. Why, oh, Mr. Chen, what a surprise. I... What am I doing here? You came to see me, Miss Duncan. Oh, no, I didn't. But the clerk said you did. You told him you wanted to see Pop. Oh, but I didn't. You don't believe me. Oh, I believe you, Miss Duncan. Tell me, do you remember anything more about strange question concerning London? Question? London? I can't remember anything right now. Never mind. You will return home with Mr. Rafferty. Well, why should he accompany me? To see that you can get home safely. Don't let her out of your sight. What do we do now? You go to bed. I must send cablegram to Scotland Yard. Good night. Good night, Pa. Mr. Barnard's bank statement showed no evidence that he blackmailed you people. That's what you say. Very well, Mrs. Bonner. You'll leave us no recourse but the law. Oh, all right. Meet me at the Berkeley building tomorrow at 11 o'clock. I'll see. Excuse, Mrs. Bonner. Uh, would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, surprised to see you, Miss Green and Mr. Hamlin. Uh, we are here on business alone, I assure you. Yes, we, we were just going. Oh, so sorry. Uh, Mrs. Bonner, on night of fatal seance, someone asked what happened in London on night of October 5th, 1935. Do you know meaning of question? No, I have no idea what it meant. Why are you so nervous? Well, I'm not nervous. I'm 
just upset. That voice was like one from the dead. That you can explain? No. No, I mean, I can't. Mr. Chan, those people upset me. Please, Mr. Chan, excuse me. Certainly. Mr. Chan sure scared her, didn't he? She's got something on her conscience and pops after it. Uh-oh. I'm going out to do something very important to me and to you and Vera. Yeah? What do you mean? When I return, I'm making a getaway. Go on. We're listening. You've got to help me. You'll be well paid. You hear that? She's gabbing with the ghost again. That's all for now. I'll be back soon. Uh-oh. Tom, what do you think she's up to? I think I'll take a walk. What are you going to do? Now, dry up on the dramatics, Vera. You stay here and I'll be back real soon. Come on, we've got to follow her. Oh, no. Where trouble's going, I ain't chasing it. Stay here, then, with a spook. Oh, wait a minute. Wait till I get under my hat. Trouble, trouble, and more troubles. Where is my vitamin? Just let me get some of my vitamin. <laughs> now let them spooks come on. Shut my mouth. If y'all heard me, I was only kidding. Excuse. Good news, Mr. Chen? Excellent news. All right, what's going on now? Merely discover what kind of bullet killed Mr. Bonner. What? Will someone explain what's going on? This doesn't tell what kind of a bullet it was. Yeah. Huh? Say that again. And I just saw Mr. Edwards. He was acting very strangely. Oh, yes. Yes, thanks. We'll attend to it. That was Norma Duncan. She says that Edwards is on the second floor of the Berkeley building, acting strangely. Let's go. Charlie, about that bullet. You can keep secret? Of course. So can I. <laughs> Charlie, that's funny. Miss Duncan phones and says that Edwards is here acting strangely. Then why should his secretary say that he hasn't been here all morning? You think Miss Duncan tell on truth? Why, I... Uh... Tom! We followed Mrs. Bonner to this building and lost her. Oh, uh, one moment. Tom, that's Mrs. Bonner's glove.
Not there now. Pop, she said she was making a getaway when she got back. With the spooks. Come forward, Mrs. Bonham. Hey, look! Come a little closer, Mrs. Bonham. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. You must be crazy. More this way. Just a little more, Mrs. Bonham. I think she's gonna jump. Don't jump! Close. That's Call an ambulance. 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 Large stain on same must be analyzed at once. All right, Rafferty. It's what we figured, Mr. Chan. Menace de Rolf. Absolutely. It's a derivative of the powerful shock drug. I've never heard of antidote for such drug. Oh, there is one. Just a moment. One of these pills will reduce the effects of menace de Rolf to impotency. How long it take antidote to work? I haven't had a chance to make any tests, but I... I should say it would work within 10 to 15 minutes. What is the effect of this new drug? A few minutes after taking it, there would seem to be no effects whatever. But actually, the drug leaves a person with no mental or physical resistance. Such person could be easily hypnotized? I should say such a person would be the most easily controlled subject a hypnotist ever had. A normal person can resist any hypnotist. But after taking Menazderol, they haven't a chance. Thank you so much, Mr. Dawson. Hello, Charlie. Hello. You uh, questioned Mr. Hamlin, Mr. Edwards, and Miss Green? Yes, and they all had solid alibis. Anyway, this case has ended without any of your fancy detecting. Case ended? Sure. Mrs. Bonner killed her husband. And then when she found that I, uh, we, were getting too close, she committed suicide. So sorry. Your suicide most excellent case of murder. Murder? Mrs. Bonner killed by same person who killed her husband. What? Huh? Well, Pop, I went shopping this afternoon. Huh? Wait till the folks back home see me. I'll knock their eyes out. You are perhaps pugilist? Silly, I mean my clothes. I bought a crownless hat and a backless dress and some toeless shoes. Stores have no clothes which are complete? That's the style. Just wait till the boys see me. Can you imagine what happened? <whistles> Why, Pop, what was that? New tooth out of old horn. What are you taking pills for? Oh, bring same by mistake from police station. Should have left in laboratory. Will you get me police station, please? You know, Pop, I got an idea about this Bonner case. Water on brain now leaking, huh? Uh, hello, this is Charlie Chan speaking. Have cable gram arrived for me from Scotland Yard? No? Oh, thank you very much. Good night.
Okay, Mr. Dawson, thanks. Pop not at the laboratory? No, and he's nowhere in the building. I know he's not with Matthews or out at the Bonner place. I'm getting scared. We've got to find him. Well, I'll help, but where can we go? Wait a minute. When Mr. Chan was here, he said something about hypnotism. Does that mean anything? He said something about uh, going to where she started from. Who is she? Mrs. Bonner. Maybe Pop, that's the office she went to. Come on. Relax, Mr. Chan. Relax. My heart. Pill. You have the pill, Mr. Chan? Pocket. You may take a pill, Mr. Chan, but do not try anything foolish. There is water at your hand. Relax, Mr. Chan. Remember nothing but what you have been told. Remember, you go to the roof of the Chalmot building. And when you hear my voice, you know what you ought to do? Come forward to you. Have no fear, Mr. Chan. No one will touch you. You will start on your journey now. Your hat, Mr. Chan. Wait that fast, Miss Chan. It's only 10.30. It's open. Somebody's been here, but I don't think Mr. Chan did this. Did you take a Chinese gentleman down lately? Just now. He acted funny, like he was walking in his sleep. That Mrs. Bonner that killed herself rode down me and acted the same way. All right, down, fast. Killer. Oh, 
Oh, how? Must remember to tell Dawson his timing for antidote all wrong. Come. Looks like a magician has this place. Edwards, across the hall. He sells magician supplies. Could look for fingerprints, but I'm afraid magician killer too smart to leave any. What do we do next? Oh, Mr. Channel, I almost forgot. Uh, this came this morning. Oh, perhaps cablegram report from Scotland Yard. Tonight, Charlie Chan holds seance. You, Pop? Will bring to earth ghosts which kill Justine and William Bonner. Come. I knew we'd get in bad hanging around here. Now, sit on your blood pressure and keep it down. Don't let the cops in Justine's place worry you. In her place? Tom, there's a cop on our front steps and one in the back, too. What are we going to do? Take it easy, Vera. Get into your outfit. What? Sure. We'll slip through the seance room and hide in Justine's place right under the noses. Come on. Here. Sergeant, you will sit there, please. Special seance about to proceed. Will be very short. What's the meaning of all this foolishness? Very soon we'll bring forth most exclusive spirits. Your spirits are a long time coming, Mr. Chan. Spirits always have a very long way to come. Sarge? You find any spirits, Mr. Rafferty? Not at home now, Mr. Chan. Remain where you are a few moments longer. Excuse, please. Converse with elusive spooks. Remove hoods, please. Officer, the spooks is done stop knocking and not in and come all the way in. No one goes out. Well, it's just got to work this time. Abacadabra, disappear. Abacadabra, disappear. You can't make anything disappear by snapping your fingers. No. Well, how come every time I snap my fingers and say, come seven, all my money disappears. <laughs> you are Vera and Tom Stockley. Yes, that's the truth, Mr. Chan. We were assistants to magicians before Vaudeville died. Know any people in this room? No, no, we've only seen them in the dark. That's the truth. Come. Stand there, please. Mr. Rafferty may leave now. Come on up, Mr. Chan. Ah, but no, that don't work. Come, sir. I made it! Where did I go? Oh! <laughs> 
Abba, 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 Abba. Uh, Abba. Oh, my goodness, I done forgot the magic word. Birmingham. Ooh, Mr. Chan, you sure did lose some weight. Birmingham, remain still and silent. Yes, sir. Science begin with word association test. When you hear me speak word, person addressed will reply with first word which comes to mind. Person upon whom light falls will speak. Magician. Supplies. 518. Uh, uh, train. Honor. Dead. Revenge. No. Magician. Trickster. October. Months. Bullet. Gun. London. City. 1935. Year. London. England. Cigar. Cold. Case. I see. Charlie, what is all this? Almost solved. Killer made slip. Something wrong with lights. Oh, what was that? There's a bullet hole in this chair. That bullet did not go entirely through chair. You work lights very well. For helping me illuminate dark mystery, I now make you junior member of the firm. Motive for murder is explained in this cablegram which I received from Scotland Yard. During automobile accidents which occurred in London on night of October 5th, 1935, famous magician known as Shardo the Great is horribly injured. Shardo? That was the name of the voice. Exactly. He tried to kill you because he feared you remember his name. Shardo was pursuing his wife, Justine, <gasps> who was running away with his assistant, William Bonner. Then accident occurred. Shardo remained in hospital for over a year. I heard he died, Mr. Chan. No, Shardo recovered. But now, through plastic surgery, he is utterly unrecognizable. So he determined to find and kill Justine and William Bonner. And Shardo succeeds. Look, Charlie. Now there's blood on the chair. Explanation of why no bullet found in body of William Bonner. Bullet made of frozen blood. Shardo the Great was very clever. He was magician, ventriloquist, actor and hypnotist, but he could hardly expect to fool the police forever. Could he, Mr. Hamlin? Uh, what? Huh? What? <laughs> How should I know? That's it. He touched my hand with that case, and the thing nearly froze me. Mr. Shardo, you are wanted for murder. I'm not being taken, Charlie. It is unavoidable, Shardo. Look out, Charlie! Cigar case contains spring gun. My own mate. Clever, hmm? I carry it in an insulated pocket. Take him away, Sergeant. Come on. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank goodness. Seance over. All may depart. Uh, what about me? Oh, Birmingham. You may come up now. Which way is up? Charlie, if Shardo or Hamlin was holding hands at the seance, how did he shoot Bonner? All trick of third hand. One moment, I show you. You see? Hamlin let other person hold this hand while he have one hand free now to fire a strange gun. Then to get rid of it, he just hung it on the drape. Exactly. 
Like magician, he make it disappear before your very eyes. Where am I now? Oh, oh, excuse, please. <laughs> Uh, is the police gone now? Yes. What's the matter, Birmingham? Don't you feel good? Oh, I feel fine now. I took some of my vitamin pills. What vitamin pills? Oh, these here. Why, it's a lot of pep in these pills, Mr. Chan. You eat those pills and still feel good? Feel good. <laughs> Ain't nothing the matter with me. Of course, I got a little permanent wave in my stomach, but I, I, don't, I don't hear them spooks rapping no more. You are fooling me. You're not psychic at all. Good. You're sure? Well, uh, Charlie, there's another one. Beauty of Chan family. Also a junior member with the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.